Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiology Chester. So we talked about the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme, their introductory portion, and uh, the purpose of that test, as well as we talked the main causes of low and high G6PD. Uh, if you missed the first video lecture related to the glucose 6-phosphate test, you can go back to my channel and watch it, or there will be a link in the description. You can check it. Okay. Today in this video we are going to see the qualitative method of the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase test to how to find out the G6PD using this method. For this method what actually first we need? We need blood in ADTA tube as you can see. We need pipette. We need a test tube with rakes. So these are the main things that we need. Some other requirement for that test is a blood uh, blood in ADTA tube test tube glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase kits pipette with tips incubator or water bath as you can see these are the tips incubator and we have a kit now this glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase uh, kit uh, mostly contain the enzyme reagent buffer reagent lysing reagent and inert oil okay now let's see the procedure that how we will perform that test first of all what will you do you have to take a clean test tube and then you will add 1 ml of the lysing reagent okay that is present into the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase kit now once you put this then what will you do you have to add uh, ADTA blood but the ADTA blood you will have to add it according to the HB now what does it mean it means uh, that let's suppose so uh, uh, the HB is uh, 16 okay you find out that the HB is 16 so what will you do you have to add 24 microliter so if there is HB so uh, means uh, you have to add uh, the blood uh, so you have to add uh, blood twice twice to uh, hemoglobin to hemoglobin okay if there is 16 hemoglobin uh, uh, level so you will have to add 24 microliter if you found the hemoglobin is 18 so you will add 32 okay no sorry 36 so depending upon the hemoglobin so you will have to add the blood in the lysing region uh, we already talked about that how to find out the hemoglobin and how to uh, do the hemoglobin test it is also present into my channel uh, you will easily find out into it into the hematology lecture it, there will be a link present in to the description box and you will check the hematology lecture in the hematology lecture inshallah you will find out the uh, hemoglobin test now once you do this then what will you do you have to incubate it into the refrigerator so uh, the refrigerator temperature all of you better know is 2 to 8 degrees Celsius so, uh, so you have to incubate it uh, at refrigerator for 15 minutes okay now next what will you do next you have to take the vial that is present into the kit now this vial contains some powder like material and then what will you do you have to add 0.5 ml of the buffer now 0.5 ml means 500 microliter of the buffer and then you will incubate the buffer with vial that contain the powder so we get the liquid so then once you mix it you will incubate it at a room temperature for 10 minutes now after that what will you do now the while which you have mixed it uh, after 10 minutes then you will add this into the 1 ml of uh, then you will add this with the working solution now what type of the working solution the test tube that contain the lysing region as well as the ADTA2 which we incubated earlier which we incubated earlier okay so you have to add what you have to add while into this uh, into this solution then next what will you do you have to take out the solution means uh, the test tube that contain ADTA blood and 1 ml lysing so let's suppose the time is uh, over so what will you do you have to add the while means the while which you already made with the 0.5 ml of buffer and while let's suppose their time is also over now after the 15 minute uh, 
uh, what happened the time is also over is also done of this uh, while as well as of the uh, this uh, uh, lysing and editor blood as well so what will you do then you have to add this uh, while with this uh, uh, test tube that contain the lysing uh, region and editor blood you will mix it and then what will you do after that you will add 1 ml of uh, inert oil again you will mix it and then you will incubate it for the 30 minute now once you incubate it for the 30 min minute after the 30 minute you will have to examine the color changes as you can see in the picture after 30 minute or mostly after the 60 minute if you found the color is same means as you can see remember guys if you add uh, the while with this uh, uh, test tube that contain lysing region and ATTA blood so the while color will be this dark black or we can say red or we can say blue dark and if it is the same after 30 minute or 60 minute it means that the result is positive and let's suppose if the color is changed it means that the result is negative okay how the color will be changed and how the color is not changed it means that the hemoglobin is converted into methemoglobin that's why the color is changing so this is how we can perform the uh, qualitative method using uh, glucose 6 phosphate kit so that's all about the qualitative method to find out the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme inshallah in the next video we will talk about the screening enzymatic method so please stay tuned and keep watching